we're at a rodeo. I was ready to give up. Oh, well, I just called the station and uh, then this started working. So I, I hung up hmm. the recording. Thought I had the, I kept checking the dates and times. And Me called. too. <laughs> Couldn't figure out what, uh, what was going on. Yeah, and I called the phone number. So anyway, we're in. Well, two of us, I don't, it Can says six. Okay? Yeah, let's see. There's, there's Dave, six. three of us. Men. Oh, no, there's Dave. Here I am. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. And there's Kiona and uh, and Greg. Okay, good. And it, Lynn and Craig, yeah. It, it seems as though our ability to sign on was a little bit slow, and it looks like it may have been an internal computer phone. That yeah, was my fault. Oh, okay. Well, I'm at the front was... desk and I forgot we had a meeting. So, uh -oh. <laughs> um, now you know, we know. Yeah. yeah. There was a, uh, Kim, there was another um, email that you sent out about a postponement of a meeting till four or four 30 today. Is that to do with us? I think that's the, um, the regular board meeting. I, I think that's the change of the date. Dave. Oh, okay. Very good. We'll I'll talk to you about it later on. But, okay. Um, okay. All right. So was our um, attorney going to be with us today? I don't think so. I didn't invite her because it's just accepting new members. I didn't think it was necessary. Okay. And it looks like we have a quorum. Um, with that said, I am going to move forward here because it is time. Thanks. For everybody being patient and uh we are now uh, engaged in our psprs meeting uh, for october 31st uh and today oh, we got a call to order we don't have any calls to the public i don't think right no. No. okay no. um i will go ahead and table one thing right off the bat and that is the minute the meeting minutes uh that were from that was from August 30th because it didn't make it to the agenda to approve the minutes. So we'll just table that to our next meeting for minute approval of the August 30th meeting. Took the words right out of my mouth. Well, I, 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 I know I'm getting to know what some people <laughs> like and what they don't, you know, what they don't look at. So well, I go, okay, we got the meeting minutes because I know uh, Craig's going to be there. So anyway, <laughs> with that said, with that said, um, what we have before us today is reviewing the new hires applicant applications into PSPRS. And in the packet that Kimberly sent out, um, hopefully everybody had an opportunity to re review those. And... Uh, with that said, there's uh, the very first person on our agenda, Brian Russell. He is a, a, a fire inspector, and he is in, the rank of inspector, with a few caveats, is not inclusive into the PSPRS system. And there's several reasons for that, and uh, therefore he is not going to be submitted uh, with this group of, of people. Any questions on that? Okay. No. Okay. Um, with that being said, there are uh, four, nine other candidates that uh, were part of the package. And does anybody have any questions on any of those? Craig? I do. Yes. Uh, is it important? If this is for anybody. Is it important that some of the uh, beneficiary designations have uh, date of birth and some don't? Uh, will, will PSPRS kick it back? I don't know if that's for 
Kiona or for yeah, probably Kiona. Any comment on that? Oh, oh hey. you're on mute, Kiona. Maybe she had a phone call. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, you guys can see me too. I can hear you. Now you can see me. Hello. Hey, Yoda, were you able to answer that? Hmm. Can't hear you. Wonder if well, it's I, your speaker. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. All right. No, PSPRS will not kick it back. Uh, but also, just for the record, uh, some of our candidates were in a bit of a rush and last minute with getting their beneficiaries together. So uh, some of those are prone to change. Uh, I forced them to fill in something so that we have something. Uh, so, but in its current format, yes, it is still usable by PSPRS. That was it. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, I've got a couple. Um, and with that being said, Kyoto, in that they were perhaps in a bit of a rush, um, are you going to give a final review before they go forward? Because there were social security numbers missing. Um, although I don't question who they designated as their beneficiaries, uh, you started getting girlfriends and boyfriends and significant <laughs> others as listed. Uh, are are they aware that at some point in time they need to review that so that they do have the correct information that they need in the event of something happening? So uh, as far as beneficiaries go, they have been notified about the accuracy of the information. And they've also been informed that if you are married, the only beneficiary you can put down is your spouse. Uh, everyone else, it's pretty open on who you can choose to be your beneficiary. PSPRS only has that one rule if you are married. Hmm. Okay, so children, if they, if it's a second marriage, for example, and they have children from the first, and they want to identify the children from the first marriage, they can't? They have to go with the spouse? If they're currently married, right. they must go with their spouse. Hmm. And can that be um, updated at a later date, whether it's to for inclusion or to be specific? As far as? As, as not putting the second or third or fourth spouse, but listing the children from perhaps no. any number of spouses. It has to you be your spouse. It has to be your current spouse at the time of your entry into the system. Now, things may change with divorces and things like that, which will have an impact on their pension when that time comes. But no matter what, regardless of how many kids you have, your spouse is your primary, your current spouse is your primary beneficiary. That's state statute. Okay. And, and the term significant other, is that legitimate or is that no. legal? Okay, that is on one of the... Well, actually, let me rephrase that. If they're not married, mm -hmm. you can choose a significant other. You can choose your cousin. You can choose... But I mean, the term, the term significant other is listed. Yes, and significant other is fine as long as you don't have a spouse. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, any other questions on the documents that were provided? I've never seen a phone number with four zeros, but other than that. It's accurate. <laughs> some, six, of the, six. some of the uh, <laughs> writings, the, the, some of it's hard to read, but yeah, like. They were in a hurry. Yeah. Um, one of the questions that's come up, not so much on any of these applicants, but on others that we review for perhaps disability issues down the road mm -hmm. are those things that um, have been found as a result of the uh, physical that they take correct so the correct uh, the, the question I have is 
when there is listed with existing conditions and they're there mm -hmm. and down the road it comes up where that may play a part yes, are we yes. able to talk about those specific things or that's part of a medical background we can't delve into so during their pre-employment pre, pre uh, screening, not only do we do a physical for their ability to perform as a firefighter, we also uh, take in consideration for the PSPRS local board, any pre-existing conditions or injuries. So if someone has a bad knee and they enter into the system with a bad knee, let's just call it a bad left knee. Uh, and then six, seven years down the line, uh, they re-injure that knee in the line of duty, um, then it is considered a pre-existing, it could be considered a pre-existing condition that would make it to where they would not be able to get the typical accidental disability or work-related injuries. It would just be a standard disability pension. Now, of course, mm -hmm. it'll be a number of factors that we would take into consideration based off of an independent medical exam, but it is important for the local board to know that certain individuals already have pre-existing conditions because it can impact uh, their ability to get a particular type of pension later on if they re-injure something that was already there. Okay. And as we found out previously, that only works if it's disclosed. Uh, I'm sorry, Greg, say that again. Yeah. That only works as if, if it's disclosed. Yeah. Okay. And I think also it's a mechanism of injury. If, if we've got a bad knee and uh, let's say the vehicle accident they're working on, something happens and the car rolls on their knee. Correct. Would... All of that is taken into consideration. Right. Okay. That happened okay. like 11 or 12 years ago, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, with that said, um, Lynn, any, any input that you may have on this list that we have before us? No, I, I really didn't have any questions based on what they uh, documented there. Okay, great. Uh, Craig, any other uh, additional questions or input you may have? I, I don't have any, Dave. Okay, and that leaves us with uh, Greg. Anything for us that uh, you might want to add? No, I've added plenty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, uh, yeah, Greg, Greg. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, you were looking down. That was actually me that said I didn't have anything. I mean, based on our history, the main things I'm looking at is does the doctor say they're fit for duty and did they disclose anything? You know, the, the paperwork stuff, I just, I trust. Keanu will write yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. I, I hear you on that one. Okay. So with that said, then the, then the issue before us is to accept these applicants paperwork so that it can now go forward to PSPRS for, for formal inclusion into the program uh, with one exception. And that's Brian Russell. Correct, Kiona? That is correct. Uh, and just so you all are aware, uh, Brian Russell was in PSPRS, but uh, he cashed out his PSPRS with his former employer. So uh, any so any possibility of him re-entering the system, that's all gone away because he ended his relationship with PSPRS. Okay, very good. Okay, so with that said, um, I'll go ahead and uh, move to uh, accept the newly hired firefighters into the PSPRS system via forwarding their paperwork uh, to the main office, and that being of Colton Anderson, Lucas Becker, Austin Litton, Mich Michael Garcia, Elijah Malott, Malott uh, Madeline Payton, Andrew Richards, Clyde Rubin, and Justin Wassel. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, any further discussion on those nine? Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, any uh, 
not in favor say nay. <laughs> okay, the motion carries all uh, nine uh, are approved to uh, for forwarding all their paperwork into PS PRS. Okay, and I think that is our only order of business uh, with that one exception that was to table the minutes into our next meeting. Uh, with that said, thank everybody for their patience and uh, the lengthy meeting we had today. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see everybody at the next meeting. Okay, thank Thanks. you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.